Hello everyone, we're going to pray the Novena to Our Lady of Fatima, which is prayed for nine consecutive days. And the intention for which I'd like to pray is for the conversion of um, sinners, for our conversion, and also for the conversion of the whole human race, especially those who have been deceived like Russia was in the past by principles that originated from communism that led to materialism, religious persecution, suppression of individual freedom of property, speech and expression. And also we'll continue to pray for Russia to remain fervent in reviving her Christian Orthodox faith traditions and for end of war and for world peace and for the end of the arms race. So day one novena prayer, most holy virgin who has deigned to come to Fatima to reveal to the three little shepherds the treasures of graces hidden in the recitation of the rosary. Inspire our hearts with a sincere love of this devotion so that by meditating on the mysteries of our redemption that are called, recalled in it, we may gather the fruits and obtain the conversion of sinners, the conversion of the whole human race, and this favor that I so earnestly ask, and which I ask of you in this novena, for the greater glory of God, for your own honor, and for the good of all people. Amen. And instead of praying the whole rosary, we are just going to pray three sets of Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory Be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And each day I'm going to read one of the apparitions from Fatima. The first apparition of the Angel of Peace. In the spring of 1916, while walking to keep the herd in a property called Old Shusa, a drizzling rain began to fall. They climbed the hill to find shelter in the crevices of a rock. The rain soon passed and the sun returned, and they remained there. At noon, they ate their lunch after praying an abbreviated version of the rosary so they could play. They were always told to pray the rosary, and they had to obey. 
but they liked playing very much, so they solved the problem. The three sat down and Francesco, being the leader, counted the beads, saying, Our Father, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, and at the end of the decade, very slowly, glory be. This ended the rosary and the games began. But on this day, their lives would change. Lucia tells it this way. We had enjoyed playing for a few moments only when a strong wind began to shake the trees. We looked up, startled to see what was happening, for the day was unusually calm. We saw coming towards us above the olive trees the figure I have already spoken about. Jacinta and Francesco had never seen it before, nor had I ever mentioned it to them. As it drew closer, we were able to distinguish its features. It was a young man about 14 or 15 years old, whiter than snow, transparent as crystal. When the sun shines through it and of great beauty, on reaching us, he said, do not be afraid, I'm the angel of peace. Pray with me. Kneeling on the ground, he bowed down until his forehead touched the ground and made us repeat these words three times. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon for you, for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Then rising, he said, pray thus. The hearts of Jesus and Mary are attentive to the voice of your supplications. Leaving them absorbed in a supernatural atmosphere, the angel disappeared. They remained there for a long time and repeated a prayer that was engraved supernaturally in their hearts. They had no desire to talk to each other. Penetrated by the strong feeling of God's presence that did not fade for several days, it was not necessary to express themselves to each other. None of them felt the desire to speak to anyone of what had happened. Francisco did not hear the voice of the angel. While the two girls repeated the prayer, the angel said, he, like an echo, repeated what he heard from them. So that was the first apparition that Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco had, which then would lead up to uh, the apparition of Our Lady. Um, May 13th would be the first apparition of Our Lady. And this is uh, taken from Carmel of Coimbra, uh, published this biography of Sister Maria Lucia of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart, one of the visionaries. And the title of the book is A Pathway Under the Gaze of Mary. So have a blessed night, everyone, and don't forget to pray your rosary with your family tonight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.